Why, hello, Pokey fam. It's Lady of the Lake. And I have a very awesome special opening. It is finally here. The Pokemon, if I can catch it in the right light. The Pokemon uh, Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. I went to quite a few places to try to get these. I was only able to get two. Not at MSRP, unfortunately. I will be only opening one today, and I will be keeping the other one sealed for my collection. So to give you, like, a quick uh, story of how my day was yesterday, so the night before I tried to refresh the GameStop website, and I wasn't one of the lucky ones at all to catch it as it was put on. Uh, the site for order, so I figured I will try to nab, and even then, I would have still woken up early in the morning to try to get at least another one of these, but I got up at about 6.30, the local Target opens at about 8. I got out as quickly as I could. There were already two people waiting there by the door, so I was third in line. Uh, we waited for the store to open when it finally did. We all walked in and there wasn't anything on the shelf. There wasn't even any regular celebrations, ETBs, no Pokemon product at all. And we decided to all go out throughout the store to try to see if somebody could answer whether or not if the vendor had showed up. And he hadn't shown like he did two weeks ago for the celebrations release. Waited about another hour to see maybe if he would still somehow show up, but I wanted to head over to GameStop in time. Luckily, I got there while nobody was there, so it was the first in line. I waited an hour and a half. It was raining, uh, but I still stuck it out. Made it up to the counter when the store opened, and they didn't have any... UPCs at all either, which I'm going to use short for Ultra Premium Collection Box. At first I didn't know what UPC meant when I first saw it, but I was able to nab one of these at MSRP. So I got at least one of the Pikachu VMAX boxes, but I was still bound and determined to still find one. So I have some local card and comic stores that I go to in the Bay Area that I sometimes rely on if I can't get anything from Target or GameStop. None of them had the Ultra Premium Collection box. None of them in the Bay Area. And I didn't want to go as far south as San Jose, but I tried to give it a shot on the, the Facebook market page, which I had been keeping track of just in case if something bad were to happen, I wouldn't be able to find one of these. I contacted at least four people, three of which it would all, they were already sold. And the fourth one, the person flaked out on me and decided to see if they could sell it to somebody else and said, Oh, hot, sorry. Uh, I'm not going to sell it to you, it already sold to somebody else. He probably got a, a better offer than what I was offering for two of them. But I called like every GameStop I could. We stopped at a couple Targets. Uh, and then luckily I found a local comic and card store that had one left. And they're an hour away from where I was. And I was really concerned whether or not I asked them if they could hold it. They said that they couldn't. Uh, I called them back a second time and was able to order it over the phone with a card. And I was really happy that I at least secured one. While I was doing that, I also tried uh, Craigslist, which isn't a place where people always think to look but I still try it to see whether or not if I can get lucky, and I did. I found somebody that was about in, like about two hours away 
that was willing to sell it for a decent price. And, you know, traffic was really heavy after I went and I picked up the first one over at the Card and Comics store. And, you know, we picked that up, like, really late at night. After I had picked that one up, two people who had told me no on the Facebook marketplace finally said, oh, hey, you know what I have, it's available, after flaking out on me. So I just said, hey, sorry, no, I got two at a better price. Um, I think that that's really crappy for people to do that. But let's go ahead and just get right down to it. Sorry that I spent like the first five minutes of the video just explaining how my day went, but it was it was quite a journey, but mission accomplished. And I think that it was really worth it. I have no regrets for what was spent on these and how I got them. I am really excited to open this and I want to enjoy like every second of this because this is a really incredible box. And I think Honestly, the MSRP that was set for these at 120 was way too low. That's why these sold out too quickly. Uh, really only Targets and GameStops were only getting anywhere between 1 and 6, I believe, or 1 and 4. I was told that GameStops were at least getting 2 each. And that's it. I was hoping that I was going to be lucky enough to nab one of that GameStop, but there weren't any. So you get 17 Celebrations packs. You get 8 uh, Modern Era packs from Sword and Shield. 2 Metal Cards. 2 Gold Regular Cards. 2 Coins a Charizard and Pikachu pin, a book that is separate, oh well, different from what the regular ETB booklets are, but I'm hoping that I have zoomed out enough to be able to get a decent look at this. And there's a magnet that holds it together. So I will go ahead and I will show what this looks like. And there it is. Those, there are the drawers. So this should have the metal cards. I think the left one should have the celebrations packs and the regular pack should be in the right side. But my goodness, like this takes up quite a bit of my, my desk. So, going to pull out the contents of this left one. So, it, oh my gosh. And I actually got a Pokeball that is well centered. I'm going to put all the packs off to the side because there's not enough room. But to show you what the Pokeball, and I'm really happy that I got one with good centering. Other people have been getting these with bad centering. This one's, I think, shifted a little bit up, but my gosh, what a beautiful card. And it's got the 25th anniversary Pikachu head on the card. You got pin. Oh my gosh. We're about to get to the really, really cool stuff here. Oh boy. Hands are like shaking a little bit. Here's the Pikachu. I'm going to keep those in the cases for right now. I like how these stand up. I 
Oh my gosh, I got one with really good centering too. And then those like weird nicks that you see on these. That is gorgeous. Wow. What an amazing box. And I was thinking of almost saving the code card for myself, but I am going to share it with one lucky viewer that nabs this first. So I get one, two chilling rain, three chilling rain, one, two, three, three Vivid Voltage, and two Darkness Ablaze. I'm going to mix this up. Sorry that there's really not a whole lot of room on this desk, but I will show the contents again. And I do have a plan for this box where what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the entire set into top loaders and I'm going to put them in each of these boxes and it's going to look really, really neat. And the box actually has like a little bit of weight to it. So let's give a little bit of light here. Centers a little bit better. Come on, center for me. And I really like how that glistens. Let's pop this open. Oh my gosh, this actually has like a bit of weight to it. And There is like some, I guess, some scuffing on the bottom. But I guess that's normal. I was really worried that there was going to, and there's a little gold tab on that too. I guess these are pretty difficult to find in like perfect condition, but at least there's like no paint peeling at all. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually sleeve that. I got some Ultra Pro Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, the Ultra Pro regular clear sleeves for the cards here. how that just like slips in there pretty easily. That is gorgeous. Let's take out the Pikachu and get a closer look at it. Looks like the Pikachu doesn't have like as much as what was wrong with the Charizard. Yeah, the Pikachu looks like it's in perfect condition. I don't see any like scuffing or anything. And these and you can like see how that gold glistens. I'll put that in a sleeve as well. And I've got some snap down cases. I'm hoping that they will be able to fit into the snap down cases that I have. But wow, what a beautiful card. And for right now, I don't think that they can be gradable, 
but PSA and CGC, I believe, are looking into potentially grading these down the road. I don't think it's going to be really that difficult to authenticate these. So I'm going to start off with the first celebrations pack. These are always a pain to open because of how small these packs are. There's only four cards in each pack. So I have a Dialga. So nothing in this pack. I'm going to move to a Chilling Rain. Reverse Haunter, I like that. I need to start taking some pictures of my ghost Pokemon plush. Let's put these over here right now. Since Halloween is coming a lot closer. Come on. I think might just cut the top of these, but I don't want to do that. Cosm and a flying Pikachu V Max that is still an incredible card to pull. I have pulled quite a bit of these though. around Palkia and another Mew EX into a full art Pikachu. Got a double hitter. I already have pulled the Mew EX but that is still a pretty neat pull. Let's do a Chilling Rain. And if you're wondering why I wear gloves, that's just how I enjoy the hobby. I do sometimes open up packs without them. It's just, especially with these metal cards, I think. Oh, a Delivered. I like seeing Delibird every now and then. Heracross into reverse Heracross into a Lycan Rock. I want to separate out my celebrations from the normal ones. What makes it easier is to separate these two in the center. But I find that it's not always like that. Lugia ho o -Oh, into a zombie zenta v. own the gold Mew 
and the Charizard. And I should be getting the Umbreon in the mail. I got it for a really decent price. But still, pulling any of the top four today would be really, really cool. Ooh, another birthday Pikachu and a Mew. Oh, and I believe I, I never showed you the the booklet that comes with the box, but I'll do that after I open up these packs. I just realized that. Like, I was so excited about these metal cards that... just forgot all about it. Ooh, I see something glistening. Could it be something cool? Nope. But still put that with my hits because that is still a neat regular hit. So let's do the last chilling rain. I saw that score bunny when I first opened the pack. It's pretty cute. Sneasels. Ooh, I think that's the second pack where I've gotten like the regular and the reverse. So nothing really incredible out of my chilling rain. So maybe I might get lucky with the vivid voltage. Cosmog, Dialga, and I pulled the Venusaur. Let's go another double hitter. And it's got decent centering. Hmm. Centering's a bit off on the back, but that's fine. Go ahead and sleeve that. I was wondering when I was going to pull it. I mean, I already got one because I was a bit impatient and wanted to have all three. Plans generally change though. Nothing good. Because I didn't even think I was going to get more than one Ultra Premium Collection box. I was just going to go ahead and keep it sealed. I like the idea of having one that I can keep sealed, and who knows if these come down in price or if I'm actually able to snag one for MSRP. Let's see, I think I kind of saw something glisten. The Rocket Zapdos, that's one of the ones I was really looking for. I'm really happy that I pulled that, and the centering's not bad on it. I was run wondering when I was going to pull this card. Like with how many packs I've opened and this is the first one I've pulled. What a cool card. And if I can reflect it just right, you can see the rain on it as well. I think this is fully textured as well. I think all the classic... Yeah, you can kind of see it from how I'm reflecting it. 
I think all the classic cards have a texture to them. Okay, now on to the Vivid Voltage. Can I pull a Chunky too? Just even just a regular one would be nice. Or the Pikachu V. I know the chances of pulling. The Rainbow one is very, very rare. Oh, nothing. So I got that cute Weedle. Let's do another Celebrations. I think I should have sleeved up the Mew EX too. That's still, I think, considered a hit. So I have Cosmog, Palkia, Ho-Oh, Flying Pikachu V. Go ahead and sleeve up my Mew EX as well. I think the Mew EX and the Birthday Pikachu are both worth sleeving. That's my third birthday Pikachu that I have pulled from this set. Got the full art Pikachu at least. I think I'm gonna have like a full page of these, a full couple pages, and it's gonna look really, really neat. Let's put my two gold cards over her. On to the second vivid voltage. Thorn, that's a neat artwork. Dusclops, another ghost type. I do have the plushie for that. Uh, Beldum. I am going to go ahead and open the next Vivid Voltage. Just because I'm curious. Charm, Woobat, Charmander, Voltorb, into an Orbital V. I did not have that. Well, maybe I did. I don't believe I have the VMAX, though, for it. But so that's still a pretty neat hit. So I still have quite a few celebrations, six more celebrations. So I think I should technically get three more classic hits, two to three more classic hits.
And celebrations is such a fun set. Another professor's research. Just can't get enough of these guys. I think this is like the eighth one I've pulled. Pulled two out of an elite trainer box. I think I'll have like a full page of these as well. Be neat to have like a full page of these right next to a full page of the the Pikachu's, but that's still a hit. Let's start opening the Darkness Ablaze. I did not have that one yet. That was really cool. But I finally got an impo imposter Professor Oak. Decent centering too. So it's, it's the cheapest one of the classic set, but it's the first one I've pulled. It's kind of nice not having to go out and buy a single one of these because the shipping Really, I think, is more expensive than the card on this, but it's still a really neat card to see. Oh my goodness. And I tried to pull it apart, but... Oh my, just completely destroying this pack. And I put the code card backwards. That's interesting. Ooh, a skitty. Toxel. Mary into a Mew V. That is super cute. I'm so excited for Fusion Strike that will be coming out next month. You'll be able to see Mew V Max, and the View V Max Ult Art looks really cool. So down to just three celebrations and a single darkness ablaze. And another zombie zenta. Cosmog, another Rocket Zapdos. Now I'm pulling the Rocket Zapdos. Whereas before, in my prior videos, all I was pulling was the the Dark Gyarados. But that's really cool seeing two of those. Let's do the Darkness of Blaze. Hopefully. And I'm still trying to see if I can get lucky enough to pull it, is to get the regular Charizard VMAX. And I just did it again. Um, they just did the code card backwards again, which is fine. Uh, 
All right. Dark energy, a familiar bale, uh, an Ariados, which is really neat artwork. Pan Sage. So nothing really neat out of that pack. But let's see if there's some last pack magic. So how the Zekrom, Reshiram, Groudon, and Lunala. So not a bad box. None of the top four, but those top four are really difficult to pull. I wouldn't I would have been very surprised out of 17 packs. So out of the regular hits, this is what I got. Let's do a recap of the reverse. Hollows and a couple of the hits from Celebrations. The Mareep was really cute. Another full art Pikachu. Heracross. Pikachu. So no, no VMAX surfing Pikachus. I don't think I have yet. This is technically a hit. So I don't think I have yet to pull the VMAX surfing Pikachu. That one just keeps eluding me. I may have pulled it and not realized it, but I don't recall that I've gotten that one. Let's gather these guys up. So I've got the Flying Pikachu VMAX, Rocket Zapdos, Imposter's Professor Oak, back to back with the Professor's Research, Mew EX, a Birthday Pikachu, another Rocket Zapdos, and a Venusaur. And of course, what is like really what people are after in this box are the gold cards. And I'm happy that I got two gold cards in. Well, the Pikachu is at least in Mint near Mint. And from looking at this. I think it's going to be pretty common to get like some light scuffing on these cards. The centering's actually kind of off a little bit on the back. And you'd think like with metal cards that the centering... So it looks like it's thinner here than on the side. So yeah, it's kind of shifted to the, the left here. But no surface scuffing, no peeling or chipping of the card. And before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and show the booklet. The magnet on this thing is pretty strong. And I might be able to actually get the whole booklet in the camera for this one. Whereas with the ETBs, I wasn't able to before. So they're going over Pokemon Prime Level X. Owner's Pokemon, Dark Pokemon, Light Pokemon, and I want to be able to get the Celebrations Collector's Chest as well, but nobody had any of those. SP Pokemon. Gold Star, shiny Pokemon. That's an 
another page. And I show you what's metal and gold cards. And I did get to open this. I was very happy to open that Pikachu box for the V Union. If you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date for when I post new videos. And I will catch you all next time. This is Lady of the Lake. Peace out.